a history of blood clots and a history of taking uh, blood thinners does not stop you from being able to do this protocol. In fact, it's a great idea because that way uh, you're gonna be healthier and have less possibility of having a recurrence. Can someone just have blood clots in the leg on blood thinners in the past start your heart nourishment protocol? They're worried about high vitamin K and recurrence of blood clots. It's interesting, this is one of the most misunderstood concepts, even with doctors, it's kind of frustrating, um, but in general with the public about blood clots and what causes them and what you should be wary of. So a history of blood clots and a history of taking uh, blood thinners does not stop you from being able to do this protocol. In fact, it's a great idea because that way uh, you're gonna be healthier and have less possibility of having a recurrence. So yes, you should do it anyway. Now for the people who are actually on blood thinners, um, most of the time that's not a problem either because uh, most blood thinners, you'd be fine. Like I took injectable ones, they have nothing to do with diet and you'd be fine. If you are on, are on Coumadin or otherwise known as Warfarin where there is um, dietary restriction because they are trying to be careful, that's when people have to worry more about eating things like leafy greens. It's not the case for anybody else uh, or natural occurring blood clots uh, for most people. Uh, so the most important thing that you wanna do is if you're on Warfarin or Coumadin, then you need to get either a home INR machine or you have to get your INR tested frequently by your doctor, doctor's office, so that you can make sure that they can adjust your meds to go with your diet. You don't wanna give up healthy foods to make it easier to adjust your meds. You wanna have your meds adjusted so that you can have the diet that can reverse your disease. So for example, I had antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and it was severe. I had blood clots going into my brain. Uh, I had blood clots through all my fingernails and my body. I mean, it was a lot. Um, so I chose to do the injectable medicine and that way I didn't have any dietary restriction. Um, so for people who, are, um, who, who have those clots, you can also talk to your doctor to see if you can switch your meds and that'll make it easier. But the antiphospholipid antibody syndrome was gone by the fourth month after I changed my diet. So I had gotten three months into it, I had gotten my next set of labs. I didn't get labs during that three month period. So I don't know when my lupus markers became negative, but all my markers were negative by three months. And the antiphospholipid antibodies were in the borderline range where they never would have treated it, but it still was like borderline. And then when I retested a month later, cause they thought those weren't really my labs, um, those were negative too. And they have been for 17 years. So it's still worth doing no matter what. Just talk to your doctor. If there's a specific issue where your doctor's saying you need to be careful, um, then you know talk to them and find out what their reasoning is and if it makes sense. Um, but if it's just general things that you think you learn from the internet, don't take it seriously. And, and, and again, talk to your doctor too, because they get this wrong a lot. Make sure that they know what they mean, because if you're not on a certain medicine, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, in fact, you'll just get healthier.